An amount of 18,000 crore rupees has been returned to banks from Vijay Malia, Nirav Modi and Mehul Choksi, the government told the Supreme Court today. The total proceeds of crimes in the Prevention of Money Laundering Act or PMLA cases pending before the Supreme Court now amounts to 67,000 crore rupees. The top court has been hearing a batch of petitions challenging the wide scope of powers available to the Enforcement Directorate for search, seizure, investigation and attachment of proceeds of crime under PMLA. My colleague Sukiti joins us on the phone line with the latest update. Sukiti, take us through the latest developments. Uh, well, yes, so the Supreme Court has been hearing this uh, batch of petitions uh, that uh, questions the kind of powers that the Enforcement Directorate has uh, when it comes to uh, handling uh, cases that pertain to money laundering charges. Now, the center, however, has been emphasizing in court that uh, the strict powers, the, the extreme powers that the ED has when it comes to investigating such cases, that is a big requirement considering the kind of money laundering cases that have been seen in the recent years. Uh, and it is in this line of argument that he informed the court about the fact that at least 18,000 crore of money has already been returned uh, through the uh, proceeds of crime uh, that pertain to Vijay Malia or Nirav Modi or Mehul Choksi. But uh, there is even a much larger figure when it comes to the other cases that are before the Supreme Court. And the, the total proceeds of crime uh, combined for all of those cases comes to about 67,000 crore. The centre has also been saying that in our country, compared to the 33 lakh uh, FIRs that are registered in such cases, only a few thousand cases are taken up for investigation. And uh, so we really need to buck up in terms of, uh, you know, bringing India in, uh, in comparison to how other countries like US or UK handle such cases. Uh, however, on the other hand, there have been arguments from lawyers like Mr. Kapil Sibbal and Mukul Rohati, who have been questioning the kind of new provisions that have been brought up in the PMLA law, saying that uh, there are various very strict uh, conditions when it comes to obtaining bail. There are statements that the uh, people in question make during investigation. Those are la later counted as evidence during trial, which is... Uh, so they are questioning that even the law and rules that have been put in place, they are violated by right. such agencies, and it's not fair. So those have been the arguments, but uh, definitely these are big figures and significant figures that uh, come in terms of the fugitives from the central government.